Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Jay on the Segway. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys this little A. Magison cage right here. Uh, we'll go over this, I'm gonna let you guys check it out, and uh, we'll put the Ace Pro inside of it and see what it looks like. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, so this case right here, this little cage is gonna fit on the Ace and the Ace Pro cameras. So we're gonna open this thing up. I ordered this on AliExpress because uh, they seem to be the only ones who actually had one available, so. Get this microphone set up right here. Yeah, they seem to be the only ones who actually had one available. So I was like, all right, let's go get one from there. Seems very simple. All right. We got some lens cover protectors. Okay. Good. Wait, we might. All right, bad news. If you guys have an actual lens, um uv protector well this is not necessarily a protector but it is but if you guys are using like a uv filter or any nd filters these little covers will not they will not work they will not cover your your your, your uv protectors they only work for the actual stock lens which i'll show you here so you got a good lens cover silicone base Works pretty good, actually. So the next thing is, this is what, wow, this thing is really light. They say it's 30 grams. This is very light. Wow, okay. In this little baggie, I assume we have some tools and the extra attachment because this thing will allow you guys to mount. Oh my goodness, this thing is like, is it just sealed completely shut? So I'm gonna have to get barbaric with it. Going ahead and rip it open. All right, that's it. Just be careful when you're doing it, guys, because you don't want to lose anything. So basically what this is going to allow you to do is mount. You got some GoPro teeth on the bottom. You can mount it on the side here. And, and, and this is so nice. All right, look at this. Watch me now, okay? This is by design. It's got a slide, a slot here, so you can actually mount it just like this, okay? And then you got two Allen key screws that you can use to basically screw this thing. So if you guys wanna actually use the camera sideways like this, you can. Something something this cage allows you to do, like I told you guys, if you was to put this little, this side mount here, and it's pretty self-explanatory. I know I just, just jacked it up, but it's, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You put this thing in here, it's gonna look like this, slides in like this, okay? Right, once you have that assembled, you got this little screw right here, you just take it and you screw it until the door actually pulls open because if you're gonna screw it all the way, it's just gonna fall out and it does have like a little rubber washer here that allows you to, um, so you can feel the pressure as you tighten it instead of it just going straight from zero to 100. And you put the camera inside. If it's too resistant, then you're putting it on the wrong way. You spin the camera around and you put it on. Then you take the screw and tighten it. You don't put it super tight because like I said, you have a rubber washer in here some black rubber washer and that rubber washer is it's like i said it gives you the pressure it makes you feel like okay we're getting it tight and then you just kind of stop it you have access to your power button and your usb c and your memory card you also have access to your top top microphone your uh, record button what i like about this cage is that it actually gives you even with gloves on you can kind of feel the area where the button should be so it allows you to press it more effectively versus not having it in the cage i don't know that's just a personal thing um, you also have access to that's what you don't get access to so the battery door if you take this side thing off that allows you to mount it like this so as you got so as you guys can see if you're going to use a gopro style mount you can route you know you can mount mount it sideways like that allowing you to do like the Instagram stuff, you know, the aspect ratio that'll support that a lot better. As you guys can see, I do have a UV ND filter or a UV filter on the camera. It works perfectly fine with that. Okay. We're going to take this, you're going to take these teeth off. I never record like this, not to mention in the Insta360 app, you can actually change, you can change that. You don't have to have it you can change that. You don't have to have it. Um, you don't have to actually record like this physically if you don't really want to. The cool thing is if you guys don't want to use a side mount, what you can use it for is a cold shoe mount, man. You could kick this thing. You could rig this camera out with the microphone and a light. I would have showed you guys 
my little GoPro light. I still have the little GoPro flat um, vlogging light, but uh, I don't know where it's at. So we're just gonna show you guys with the Loom Cube. But yeah, you can you can kit it out like this for you guys that want to do some vlogging. And the cool thing about it is, guys. <laughs> yeah, baby. Now, yes, the, the, in this situation, this light is actually blocking it, right? You can't see yourself, but how bad do you really need to see yourself? Hmm? You don't know how to point the lens at yourself? So this cage literally doesn't block anything. And oh, by the way, that is the Insta360 microphone adapter on the side there. Um, this thing it gives you access to everything. The only flaw I found with this thing, there's one flaw that I found, is that when you close this thing here, you see that? It's not closed, is it? So you have to force it, you have to push it a little bit. It's not a bad push, it's just a little push. Now, when you guys aren't using this little side mount here and you're using the cold shim mount, I'm gonna take this microphone off real quick, right? You got access to your battery door. So you push down like you normally do, pull out, booyaka. Now you got access to your battery. So this this thing is 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 full, fully functional, my guys. Fully functional. I mean, none of your microphones are blocked. Um, you, you still got access to the heat. You see on the very bottom, they say that um down there on the very bottom is where your um the camera actually keeps it gets cooled off right so you still have access to that this is with just a normal mount some of you might want to know can you use the quick release mount it is very hard getting the normal original mount off so me personally if you guys were to ask me do i recommend the regular insta 360 mounts or the quick release i'm going to tell you the quick release the quick release is fire and it actually it does work with the quick release okay you guys can see how it looks on the bottom very good setup. I reckon companies like Ulanzi, um, Telesyn, some of the other ones, Small Rig, they're gonna come out with cages for this camera as well. That may be a little bit better in a sense because like those companies, they like to drill holes. They like to put quarter inch holes everywhere. Instead of having this little side mount here, they may make the holes bigger for the, um, so that you can you can hook you could do a rig setup on this thing you know a uh, quarter inch thread is what i was trying to say so but it, do i recommend this absolutely I, it's not just to have the camera protected in a cage it's just to have the camera it's the it's the functionality the practicality you know these it's, it's just they're just practical i have no it's, this doesn't block me from using anything with the camera and it still provides some protection on the body and then you can get you a uv filter like i have here or nd filters they have nd filters insta 360 cell nd filters i probably recommend those more than anything i don't know if they have a uv filter but i have a uv filter i have a nd8 nd16 and i have a polarized filter a polarized uv filter for this camera right now and and they're good I, I love them they're not just they're not gonna just fall okay well that one just came off but look at look at all this weight <laughs> that it took for it to fall off okay but um i don't have to clean that off but yeah if you guys don't want to use that like i said this cage does come with these silicone lens covers that you can use to cover your lens okay when you're not using the actual camera i do have the insta 360s um, screen protector on here if you go on amazon they actually have screen protectors for all the screens versus just the back screen that the insta 361 comes with you can get the lens and the little small screen on the side here and the actual back one no one's sponsoring this video so i'm just gonna let you know that you can get them and um i think i think that's it guys i think that's it with this cage this cage is just Everything, I like the, the holes around the buttons allow you to feel for the buttons better because these buttons are so flush with the body, you know? Um, if you're wearing gloves, for example, that's what I like about cages. When you wear gloves and your your fingers on that glove and you're trying to find you're trying to find that area where the power button is, this hole around the power button makes it easier for you to find it. Same thing with the record button. It just makes it easier. Speaking of gloves, you guys wanna know how to screen? Let me, let me show you guys something real quick. Hold on a second. So I have my hiking gloves, right? These are gloves that I wear when I go hiking. These are listed as hiking gloves. They do not have any fingerprint, 
you know, uh, touch screen stuff on them. So let's see. Yeah, I already, it, it's already feeling good, guys. So we're gonna touch the camera. Let's see if the camera actually works using regular gloves. It does. So I am doing a question and answer video that I've, I've been preparing for you guys. Um, that's gonna be one of the questions. I've seen that question asked before, like does it work with just regular gloves or do you need a special touch screen adhesive or something like that on your gloves in order to use it with this camera. So apparently the touch screen on this camera is just sensitive and that also goes for the remote. The remote is just as sensitive. Wanna see? Here's the remote. Show you guys real quick. All right. I can't see what I'm doing very well, but you guys can see something is working. <laughs> Hold on, okay, there we go. Pull down. Well, it's not perfect, all right? It did something, but it's not perfect. Now we're in 1080p. Anyways, so yeah, that's all I got, guys. This cage, two cold shoe mounts. Um, you have full access to your battery door, your USB-C and uh, memory card door. You can use your mic adapter with it. And if you guys want to use the quick reader, I want you guys to see how much space you're working with in case you guys have the quick reader. I decided not to use the quick, quick reader because I already have one for the X3. That's all I got, you guys. If you guys have any questions, Type it up in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm on the road to a thousand, my guys. On the road to a thousand. Help me get there, but only want you here if you guys want to be here, all right? You like the content? Hit the like button, man. Subscribe. I got a lot more videos coming for this camera. I'm trying to release these videos throughout the holidays so you guys have something to watch. As far as these cameras go, do I recommend this camera in particular? I do, but I'm gonna probably, if I can remember to say this at the end of every video, you guys definitely, if you plan on using this camera as your main camera, I'm I'm gonna tell you have three, three batteries. You guys want three batteries. Uh, two batteries almost ain't even enough. If you're gonna use this camera for all the time for everything, you can do pass through recording. You don't have to have a battery even in the camera to record videos. I mean, you can have like a power bank plugged into it and it'll record. But if you guys aren't doing stuff like that and you don't want to constantly have it plugged in, I'm going to recommend, okay, 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 okay. I'll say two batteries minimum, but I recommend three batteries or more, depending on how you, you know, what you're doing. And then with that, you know, I'm going to recommend the Insta360 fast charger because, um, this thing is good, it's blocky. There's gonna be better things that come out. You guys just keep an eye out on Amazon and eBay and AliExpress. They're gonna come out with better chargers, the chargers that will be like a small box and you can put three batteries in and it'll charge them all. And the box will have its own internal battery. So you don't have to always have this plugged in because this doesn't have its own internal battery. You're gonna have to have this plugged in in order to charge your batteries. But um. You know, they're gonna come out with better things, so keep your eyes out on the market. Maybe you don't wanna to get too reckless. Maybe one battery is what you're gonna deal with until you see what the market puts out in the next month or two. But um, do what you will. I'm just giving you advice. So you definitely need more than one battery, I'm just saying. Inside of this cage, okay? And you have to take the microphone adapter out. Anytime you wanna take this camera out the cage, which you will probably never need to once you're in it, once you have it in the cage, you're going to, um, let me show you guys what I wanna show you. Inside of this cage, when you think about the camera being in the cage, there's cushion tabs. You see this one here on this side and then that one? There's those two. And then, oh, it's gonna be a little hard to show you guys. You got this one here and you got one on this side. There's little soft pads and same thing on the bottom. I mean, same thing on the top, rather. There's some soft pads here and on the back wall here. So there's a little bit of cushion there. Now, all of them aren't soft. It seems like most of them are, but two of them aren't. But I don't see that being an issue. But yeah, that's that's something you guys, you guys needed to know in case you wanted to know like, hey, is it all metal or aluminum just rubbing up against this, the camera constantly? No, right where the contact points are on top of the camera already having soft points itself. It um, 
it'll be well protected in that cage for the most part. All right. So, uh, yeah, Jay on the segue. Thanks for watching. I see you guys in the next video. Stick around. They're coming out. Latest.